Hi everybody, it's Cheryl here. I'm back. This video is going to be a little bit longer. This is going to be a make me an offer video. I have a few things, like I said in one of my last videos, and I, I know I've said it before, they're doing some uh, upgrades and remodels on my house. And since I've been forced to share my work area with the entire house here, <laughs> trying, you know, I got stuff everywhere. I've been forced to kind of start going through my things and um, I'm, I'm just getting rid of things I don't use, don't need. Um, first thing is going to be just a real simple thing that I have here. I don't, I mean, I almost hate to throw these away and I figure you guys might be able to use them. I know I've, I've seen you guys use these things for making jewelry where you fill them up, made necklaces. These are those, um, those little jars that, and I have two different sizes in here, you know, the little glass jars that the, the glitters and stuff comes in. I have... I don't know because I'm not going to count them, but this bag is stuffed to the brim. And I have one, two, three of these bags stuffed to the brim. And no, they're not cleaned out. They Some of them still have some stuff in them. I, like I said, some are that size, some are that size. Most of them are that size. Um, I just feel like it's a shame to throw them in the garbage. So, I, again, I don't know how many is in here. If I had to guess, I'd say like 500 of them. I don't know. Um, so, if you're interested in these, let me know. You know, you can take Q-tip and clean them out. I've done that. And um, refill them, sell them with stuff in them. I don't know make jewelry out of them, whatever. If you're interested, send me an email. My email will be down in the bottom. I have a couple more things. Um, the small things I'm doing first. Um, I bought these a while back, and the reason I bought these was because I thought I would try my hand at the molds. And again, I just have, I don't have the time, and I don't have the patience. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't have the patience to sit and do those molds. It made me crazy. So I bought these, these are earring, earring backs. There's 800 of these. And um, what you do is you make your little mold, you stick it in there, you cover it with acrylic, and then, you know, it's got the little rubber backs here, and you make, a, you make earrings. So um, I don't know if you can see how long they are, but, I think that's like a two millimeter disc, maybe a three millimeter. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to measure it again. Like I said, there's 800 of these earring backs or earring studs, I guess you call them. And then earring backs, 800. I didn't use any of them. I tried to do the molds when I got these and I was like, yeah, I just don't have the patience. <laughs> so making little earrings for my um, nieces and stuff that went out the door I didn't do it so again send me an email if you're interested in these and make me an offer maybe you guys can make some cute little earrings um, with these um, oh I got the hiccups sorry <laughs> next thing I oh my gosh hiccups sorry about that <laughs> next thing I have is um, this nail drill which I know you guys all know what this is. Um, I never even pulled it out of the box, but I'm going to pull it out of the box and I'm going to include all these little sand bands with it. And the reason I'm getting rid of this one is this was one I bought as a backup for the one that I was using for two years. And the one I used for two years just never broke. So I never needed the backup. I bought this about, I don't know, six or eight months ago because I was figuring it was going to break, but it never did. So I ended up buying a different one as you guys saw in my one video, but I am going to take this out just to show that it does work and it's got all of its pieces and then I'll put it all back nicely in the box. And this is another thing. Send me an email, make an offer. You know, you're getting this, this with it. Um, the instructions, the plug and the little doohickey thingy here. So I just want to show, I'm not going to un, I got an extension cord here. I hope this is safe. Um, 
So you can hear it runs nice. There's not a lot of excess noise. So um, just want you to hear that. It's not a bad one. So it's got a nice, it's not vibrating. This is actually the first time I've tried it out. So, alrighty. So I have that. If you are interested, make me an offer. <laughs> Um, like I said, I don't need this anymore because I did buy one of the really big ones, um, the 30, I think it's a 30,000 RPM one. So I don't need this any longer. I'm trying to get this back into the box. Um, the third thing that I am asking for you to make an offer on and oh and with the and don't forget you're getting several leads I don't know how many of I don't know how many are in here I think it's a hundred I'm not sure again I'm not counting them but I think it's a hundred so I'll put that in there so you have all the sand bands um and this UV light I, it's a nine watt gel um curing UV light the reason I have this is because I I actually bought this one for myself, and my husband didn't tell me, but he bought me one too. And the one he bought me was a little bit bigger, so I ended up keeping that one. Now, the other problem with this one was I didn't read, so I bought the wrong plug. So I had to go and find one of these, and I think I paid like four bucks for this, um... So I could fit it in a US plug. And I have tried this out, but I'll try it out on camera just so you can see. I've never used it. It's brand spanking new. And I'm going to plug it into my extension cord. And turn it on. Uh, can you see it's on? I hope you... Let me turn that light off. And then you can see it's on. So see it works. Um, and, uh, if you can, well, let me turn my light back on so you can see what kind it is. It's the oval one that has just the on-off switch in the back. There's no timer on this light, but, um, again, I never used it, um, like I said, because, whoops. Because my husband, he bought me one of the really long ones, and I ended up um, just using that one. So this is brand spanking new. Has the box. It's a 9-watt gel curing light. So, And I, I will, of course, include that plug thing with it. So all of that stuff. Again, I'll put my... Um, email down in the description just send me an email make me an offer on whatever you would like um keep in mind if you i'm in the united states so if you live out of the u.s depending on what you're getting i'll have to give you what it's going to cost for shipping if you're in the u.s um again same thing just tell me what you're interested in and i will um figure out the shipping total for you it shouldn't be too much for the smaller things and even the bigger things shouldn't be too much because I think I could fit um, everything but the UV lamp the UV lamp I'm gonna have to put in a box but everything else can go in a flat rate type mailer um, the glass jars I may have to figure out putting those in a box just so they don't break but we'll figure it out we'll get it all figured out so it's fair because I want to get it out of here and it's just I'm not using it you guys could so Again, just let me know. So anyway, I'm going to cut this video off now. So thanks for watching. Comment down below if you have any questions or send me an email. Um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And we'll get this, you know, figure this all out. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching.